Hi everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about Slenderman. So this is the first video that I've ever made about a creature that we know for sure is not real. Um, but since it's so popular within the paranormal community, um, I thought I should probably touch on it. Um, so here it is. Um, so the Slenderman is said to be a mythical creature that is very tall and thin. He has really long arms and legs that he can um, stretch out and shorten at will. Um, he wears a suit. He has a completely white face with no features. And um, I guess he's believed to have tentacles that come out of his back. So weird. Um, so I'm going to talk about the origin of Slenderman. Normally I talk about the history of these things, but since we know the origin of this fake monster, we're going to talk about that. So in June of 2009, the Something Awful Forum launched a paranormal pictures photo Photoshop contest. That is an awful. Um, Participants were asked to um, take ordinary photos and turn them into creepy images through digital manipulation. And then they were asked to take these images and pass them off on paranormal forums as being authentic. So at that time, a user by the name of Victor Surge, that was his username, not his actual name, um, posted two black and white photos um, with a, a group of unnamed children in each photo and this mysterious creature in the background um, that came to be called the Slenderman. So he claimed that this creature stalked children. So in the week that followed him posting these two pictures, both Victor Serge and a number of other people posted a bunch more pictures, videos, stories, different things to kind of add on to the story and uh, and like essentially make it more maybe believable to kind of put it out there more. So um, so that's kind of how it ended up like starting to spread. The idea of Slenderman is kind of believed to have come from a video game about um, what is rumored to be a German mythical um, creature called Grossmen, which is uh, translated to Great Men, and it is something that looks similar to what Slenderman looks like. So I did look this up, and there is some videos and um, some websites and stuff that talk about this, um, this bit of folklore. So it is quite possibly a real um, story that got turned into um, the Slenderman story. So once the initial pictures and, and all of the kind of stuff that followed in that week after went online, this um, story and these images spread like wildfire and uh, people started posting their own pictures, their own videos, their own audio recordings, their own stories. Um, some of them claimed to be authentic accounts with um, interactions with the Slenderman. So that's kind of how, um, how it spread and why some people think it's real because it was originally passed off as being authentic. That was part of the contest. So since then, Slenderman has been the subject of many video games. Um, an online movie and like a major motion picture, which wasn't very good in my opinion, but we all have our own taste. Um, so yeah, he's kind of, the, the character, this creature has kind of blown up and turned into its own like urban legend, which is really interesting and says a lot about how we spread information through technology. Um, so the Slenderman legends, the stories have been the alleged reason for a handful of crimes that have happened and I'm not going to get into them, but um, 
This is an example of kind of what can happen when we put information out there as authentic and that people get a hold of it and they believe it to be true. We really need to be careful about the stuff that we're posting and reposting and sharing and forwarding. We need to always make sure that we're fact checking these things. If you hear a story online about a creature you should be researching it, looking into it, try to debunk it before you start spreading it to everybody that you know as something that is real because this Slenderman story really took on a life of its own just because we make stuff go viral. That's like what we do now. So we really need to be careful because as we've seen with Slenderman and with other things, Sometimes people can end up getting hurt and we want to make sure that that doesn't happen as much as possible. As paranormal researchers, it's our job to be spreading facts and factual information rather than perpetuating myths and, and stories and, uh, and fake Facebook images. Or not Facebook, fake online images. So, so yeah, that's it about the Slender Man. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. If you have anything to add, just comment. And uh, otherwise, I'll be back on another day with another video about something totally different. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye.